last U.S. military planes have left Kabul's airport, marking the end of the two-decade-long U.S. military presence in Afghanistan as the country fell to the Taliban. Good morning, I am Bipashna Tamang and these are the headlines of the hour. Chairman of the ruling CPN Mao Center, Pushpa Kamal Dahal, claims the governments in Province 1 and Bagmati Province will change in the very near future. Women ownership of lands doubles in 10 years. Exemption and registration fees the main reason. 39% of the total landowners in the country are women. The United States completes the withdrawal of its forces from Afghanistan, ending 20 years of war that culminated in the militant Taliban's return to power. And FIFA publishes a report on international transfers in the men's game during the last decade, saying 48.5 billion US dollars was spent on transfer fees. Chairman of the ruling CPN Mawa Center, Pushpa Kamal Dahal, has claimed that the governments in Province 1 and Bagmati Province will be changed in the very near future. Speaking at a program in the capital yesterday afternoon, former Prime Minister Dahal said that the CPN UML led government in both the provinces will be toppled very soon. Chairman Dahal said that the ego of Chairman K.P. Sharma Oli has weakened CPN-UML at the provinces as well. CPN-UML is leading respective governments only in Province 1 and Bagmati Province. Chairman Dahal, who claimed of toppling the CPN-UML-led government, however, did not regret on the delay in cabinet expansion. Chairman Dahal instead reiterated that they had been doing legworks and claimed of reaching an agreement very soon. The meeting of the leaders of the ruling alliance held yesterday morning at the Prime Minister's official residence in Balwatar did not reach any conclusion to give full shape to the Nepali Congress president, Sher Bahadur Deobal-led cabinet that was formed over a month and a half ago. The provision of 25% exemption and registration fees of land and women's name has made a big impact in revenue collection, while almost 4.5 million women now own lands in the name. The then government introduced a new policy of providing 25% exemption and registration fees of land and women's name back in the fiscal year 2004-2005 to increase ownership of women-owned lands and empower them. An additional 10% exemption has been provisioned for single women. Following the implementation of the new policy, the number of women owning lands has drastically increased since then. Data provided by the Department of Land Reform and Archive suggests that there are 4.48 million women land owners, which is 39% of the total 11.4 million land owners in the country. According to the department, it was 12% in 2001 and 20% in 2011. According to the department, a total of 4.7 billion rupees was exempted in last fiscal year alone, which was 880 million rupees in the previous fiscal year, of which 80% was facilitated while registering land in the name of women. Experts, however, have still doubted on women's control over their lands despite the increasing number of women land owners. Welcome back. The country continues to reel under coronavirus as 16 COVID-19 patients succumbed to the virus yesterday while 1,902 more individuals tested positive. According to the Health Ministry, out of the 11,892 samples tested through the PCR method, 1,902 were positive. The ministry informed that Kathmandu district registered 665 new cases yesterday, while Jhapa, Sunsari, Lalitpur, Bhaktapur and Kaski were among the districts that reported over 100 cases. On a brighter note, 1,808 individuals recovered from coronavirus yesterday. There are 35,874 active cases in the country at the moment, out of which 568 COVID-19 patients are currently being treated in intensive care units or various hospitals, while 160 COVID patients are on ventilator support. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked the local residents in Dardilthura, Kanchanpur and Kailali what is the significance of the Gora Festival. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. 
यता उति हुन लाग्यो यो गोरो पर्व भने यार अब नपुतलाई पुत दिन्छिन निर्धिनलाई धन दिन्छिन खानैलाई अन्न दिन्छिन गोठ गाउ पाण मौ सब दिन्छिन फल बेटी चन्दन अक्षता पुलले गरेपछि हामीले पनि राम्रो चाहिँ जो आफ्नो परिवारमा सुख शान्ति पाउने सौभाग्य पाउने र अनि चाहिँ जो धन सम्पत्ति आरोग्य पाउनको लागि विद्या देऊन बुद्धि देऊन गोरस देऊन अन्न देऊन धन देऊन सुख देऊन सन्तोष देऊन रोग काटौन शोक काटौन सबै दिन राम्रो हो भनेर हामीले यो व्रत लिया छौ It's time now for our segment Public Pulse where it takes us with your opinion. Public Pulse. And here's the question, what to say on the increase of women ownership on assets? Your options option A, effect of tax exemption option B, discrimination reducing and option C, rise in income. The voting is on type N A W S. Select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And time now for our special segment Sports Buzz. Team Nepal's cricket coach Dave Watmore resigned last week, effective after the conclusion of the Oman Tri-Cities in September. Dave Watmore wrote an email to the cricket governing body in the country, CAN, informing that he would not be available for coaching job at the end of Nepal's upcoming cricket cities in Oman. Coach Watmore has cited personal reason for quitting the job, saying that he felt the need to remain with his family during this time of pandemic. Team Nepal is scheduled to play two matches each against Oman and America under the Tri-Cities beginning 13th of September. Prior to the series, Nepal will play two ODIs against Papua New Guinea on 5th and 7th of September. Coach Dave Watmore had struck an agreement with Cannes eight months ago for a one-year period. Team Nepal had performed well and clinched the triangular series in April involving the Netherlands and Malaysia. The cricket fraternity has taken the looming exit of Watmore as a huge setback for the development of cricket of Nepal. Watmore was earlier being hailed as figure who could take Nepal's cricket to next level of achievement. India has announced its national squad to play two international friendlies against Nepal. India announced a strong squad to play the two friendlies against Nepal at the capital's Tashrat Stadium. The 25-member squad is led by Sunil Chetri, a popular footballer in the subcontinent and one of the major goal scorers in international football with 74 goals to his name in 118 international matches. The two friendlies have been scheduled for the 2nd and 5th of September. Both teams are preparing for the upcoming South Championship to be hosted by Maldives in October next month. This is Bipashna Tamang for special segment Sports Buzz and Kantipur News Desk. And that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.